My name is Akmieledo. I was born and brought up in a polygamous family, which we all struggle to have an education then. But I thank God. I later find myself that I, I have a talent, which is uh, art and craft. I never believe I could have a house of my own. But thank God today, I am a landlord. Yeah, <laughs> it has not been long. It's just three years because it has been very, very tough hustling alone just to become a man. But I thank God, I'm a woman so do dindi. So in New York, when I was just started to build the house, I was even thinking when will I finish it. But I thank God today, I'm a proud landlord. When you are getting tenant into your house, you need to do a thorough research because they have different people have different characters. But when they are coming to you, they will not let you know whom they are. They get into your house, you will find it difficult to control them, especially those are uh, the <laughs> I mean single mother. Because I believe single mother these days, there are many, and at least 70% of them is intentional. We are 30% are just by mistakes. So when you have a single mother in your house as a tenant, <laughs> it's a desperate thing because there can be no lot to go <laughs> to my job into daddy. You will be forced to chase such uh, a lady. So, and um, if you fought to such a victim, I think you are gone. So, I know that wise, when there is a husband and wife in that same house, and a single mother, there is no how they will not relate with each other one day. Uh, maybe that husband and, her, and his wife, they are very, 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 I mean, Kodia. When he, the woman comes from market and meet his husband speaking with other that, that single uh, lady, I think <laughs> there is no how the love will generate. The woman will not take it easy. And when it's not taken easy, so in that same house, that will be a chaos. That will be chaos. So and when there's chaos in your house, the landlord will not have rest of mind. This is a very big, uh, it's something you do with wisdom. Because if you think it's only the questioning, that will not help you. Because if someone wants to lie, he or she will not tell you that he's going to lie. I have somebody around my around the area so that can monitor my home for me. And that person has been working very fine. But before he accept anybody in my house, he has to invite me down. Then I will talk with the person. And what I what what, what do I do? I will ask you about your family, where you come from. Because all of us know in this our country, we have different types and we know our different characters. So when I ask about where you came from, you tell me. Then secondly, I will tell you, are you ready to pay my deal without argument? When you say yes, then I have to tell the person to go and be a guarantor. Because if you misbehave or you spoil anything in my house, or you did something wrong and Maybe they are searching for you and you run away. I have to hold that person responsible. So you must be the guarantor. When you bring the guarantor, then I will give you my form. You fill it. When you fill it, then you have your copy, I have my copy. Then you can pack in. The people, I don't even like taking as my tenant. Not that they offend me, no. There's a... Uh, 
We, we call them single mother. Now, as a single mother, that's a single lady. Single mother is somebody who has married to somebody and have kids, then decided to leave that person and stay alone. So do, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Staying alone with that husband. When you get home, like when, when, I mean, when you pack into my house, then it's, it is it is not be easy for me to control her because they, they did not respect much. That is the reason why they left the other husband's house. They did, did not respect. So having such person in my house, I, there is no how we have chaos. And if there is a married man in my house, maybe their room faces each other. Now, there is no how they will not discuss with each other one day as a tenant. And when the other man's wife see his husband speaking with that woman, I believe that woman will think otherwise. And that can cause the departure between both of them. So and that will be a problem, having them in the house. And secondly, when you have a mother with children with no, no man in the house, when the woman goes out to hustle for food, and the children, they will be playing around. They may destroy things in your house. They will turn to criminals before the woman will come later in the night and bring food. She doesn't know what the children have been doing before she came back. So, and having such a person in my house, I don't think I can condone that. That is why I don't like giving them house. It doesn't even, hap even happen to me directly. It is the uh, my friend by my in the uh, in my street there. It happened to him because that man uh, he got uh, this uh, unmarried uh, lady in the house, and the girl has been doing fine with her. When the girls go out, come back, she buy something and give the landlord, and they used to take it. But it doesn't take much time. When you later find out that something is fishing between two of them, the girl insisted that it's not going to be paying rent anymore. So, and the man, does, the man himself said, ah, he has to take his money. The girl insisted. Later, when they drag it, a letter came in and asked him, what's the problem? And he told me, just because he's friending her, and he said, it's not going to pay. I said, no, you have crossed your boundary. If you want to do business, don't, do, don't miss business with pleasure. Now, the guy says, she is pregnant for you now. And he has every right in your house. Now, what do you do? He said, it's a lie. It's a lie, does it? Then they later went to do the checkup. The lady is pregnant, truly. So, till today, they live together. So now he has, I mean, accumulate more problem, more problem to his life. He's not even enjoying himself anymore. So it's an, that is an experience. I don't even like giving them to them because that's not how you see good things, you will not admire it. So it's better you let go. After a while, this man starts to ask questions about my marital relationship, personal life, and then starts to make a number of comments, says things like, choose one from the number of men in your life, and then settle down with him because time is growing, your biological plot is speaking, and no matter what achievement you've had in life as a woman, if you're not married, it doesn't amount to anything, and I was just like, bro, you don't even know me like that. Why are you speaking of my personal life? So I spent the larger part of last year house hunting. I heard people saying to me, we don't give our houses to single women. Why? I am a woman who's making an impact. I am telling African stories and impacting lives. I am fortunate to lose a relationship with God, even as I learn about myself better. And I don't think that any of this should be minimized because I am not married. Yes, of course. Hello, sir. You are Hello. welcome. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm fine. It's very good to meet you. Thank you. My name is Olive, Olive M.O.D., and I'm a media person. Good. I'm into media and... It's a delight to meet you. I didn't get your name earlier. My name is Akinyaleiro. All right. It's 
So I stumbled into your conversation and I found it very interesting. Thank I was you. watching from behind the scenes. So thank you for sharing your thoughts. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So I, I, there are a number of things that I sort of didn't maybe completely agree with. So the categories of women are two. 70% yeah. of them are those who were married. The marriage didn't work out yes. because they did not respect their husbands. Yeah, 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 you got and it. then 30% are the ones that mistakenly yes. you know, had the children. Departed, yes. Uh -huh. That's that statistics that you're working with. Yes. I think it might be a bit flawed because we don't actually have statistics to show that many women, 70% of women whose marriages didn't work out is largely the woman's fault. I can tell you, Katigul Gary, these days, these days, 70 percent. How did you get the statistics, sir? I, I do go out. I do go out. Most houses are rented by the single woman. Yes. So why do you feel the need to control your tenants? Because you said that part of why you wouldn't allow a single woman come into your house is because <laughs> she couldn't stay in a husband's house. So if her husband can't control her, that means you can't control her. Why do you feel the need to exercise control? Oh. I am a man. You see, I am a man. And uh, I like good things. If uh, I have such people in my house, maybe, you know, as a man, you know what we can do. I sat at a sample when I was talking then. I, I told you what happened. I remember the example. I'll come back to this question. And the example, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. was a single girl mm -hmm. or a single woman yeah. who started to have an affair with the landlord. Landlord. And refused to pay. Yes. Mm. I am Let, let I got pregnant. Mm. What a life. Turn to be the housewife and the former wife stay away. I think that when there's infidelity in a marriage, mm -hmm. when somebody steps out, okay. the person to blame is the person that stepped out, mm. not the third party. Yeah. Because this man made a commitment to his wife, two of them, to live together happily forever and ever, mm -hmm. in better, in bet, for better, for worse, for, uh, you know, all the, all the wedding vows. So he's the one that disrespected me, his wedding vows. The, the, the word for better, for worse, that was before. Okay. It is, the, it, marital life now is for better. Mm. That was, they don't want to endure at all. They don't want to take the worst part of it. Can they I ask want you a question? Best. Yes. If your wife cheated on you, what would you do? My wife cheated on me. At least, that's not what I can do. I will, tell, I will tell it to her face that what she, she has done is not good. That does not mean I should just tell her to go. Oh, okay. She's my wife and she's okay. my wife forever. Okay. You might used to say, and it is on go back to do a wole. What does that mean? If you have experienced the thing I just said, you would not even at least like to attempt it anymore. Because it's a great disaster. When you have a very big chaos in your house, that you, if your home is not good, you are not good. Okay. That is it. But, and I agree with you, I mean, the home should be preserved. I, I agree. I, I mean, I personally respect the sanctity of marriage mm -hmm. and of family, but the responsibility, responsibility lies on the parties within the marriage, mm -hmm. not a third party. Mm -hmm. Between your marriage, between you and your wife, you are the one who made a promise to your wife. Mm -hmm. Your wife is the one that made a promise to you. Yes. If your wife steps out to meet a third party, mm -hmm. I don't think it's your, we should be blaming the third party as much as we should blame her because she's the one who stepped out. So, sir, I am a single woman. And one of the things I struggle the most with is getting an apartment. If I tell you some of the stories I've heard mm -hmm. or some of the stories I've experienced, there was a time, I mean, I, I was house hunting for a long time. You saw it in the video. I mentioned yeah. it there. Mm -hmm. And I kept hearing, we don't give our apartments to single women. We don't give our apartments to single women. And I wanted to ask, why don't you give apartments to single women? I know you had given some instances, but I want you to tell me, if I came to you as a single woman, why wouldn't you give me an apartment? What does you want me to say? I say, any teacher go back to do a one that's what you would say. I've experienced this once, so I will never at least do such a mistake anymore. You experienced this thing, but the experience you shared was the experience of your friend. Yes. Not your experience. Yes. Don't you think that it's a bit unfair that the treatment that you give women mm. when they are looking for houses is not the same you give men? Would you, would you, would you um, refrain from giving an unmarried man your house? Thank you. As an Africa. 
I don't think it's the right is 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 a right to a woman to look for apartment. So where am I supposed to live under the bridge? You live under under your husband. But I don't have a husband. So what you am I supposed to do? You have to look for one as an Africa. I have to look for a husband. Yes. Let me tell you, as an Africa, if you don't, if you are enough to marry, you did not marry. People, they will look less of you, as an Africa. So are you looking less? You're looking. You're thinking of me less than I probably am right no, you now. You are beautiful as a lady. So huh? what do you think about me? But if you are a single mother, I'm sorry. I'm not a single mother. I would think otherwise. But why would you, why would you think otherwise? Because there are so many reasons why marriages don't work out. Mm -hmm. There are situations where I know of somebody who was in a marriage where they almost killed her husband, almost killed her. Would you advise that woman to stay in the marriage? Because what, with statements like these, these are the statements that make women stay in very abusive marriages that lead to their death. Have you ever beaten any of your sisters in, in husband's house? No. Aha. No. I know people that they have beaten. Their husbands have beaten them blue-black. Something must have brought that beating. So it's the woman's fault for Let whatever me, reason she was It's both faults. Let me tell you, if you are married to somebody, eh? yes. that day you sighted your eye on that person that you are going to marry her, uh, marry him. Let me tell you, you have to be submissive to the call. Even when he's trying to kill you. Endure. Even when he's trying to kill you. Have you have shoes That is Africa for you. You have shoes in. It is because people have left the caution aside. No respect for anybody anymore. Woman do work, man do work. So they share equal rights in the house right now. Formerly, there was no equal right. There must be a head. Now, the equal right part of it is the problem we are facing. Right. That is it. So, what you're saying is you would not give your house to a married, an unmarried woman or a single mother. You would not give your house to a woman who doesn't have a husband because she has no authority over her. And I'm saying to I you... I can't even give my house to such a person. So I'm saying, or if you bring your husband to me, this is my husband, and you are married, I can give it to so your husband. So, do you want me to lie? So, I have this ring now. I'm mm. coming to look for a house. I yeah. will then put this ring here and call my colleague from the office and then be flashing the ring uh, and yes. say, Sir, it's my husband. Would that be okay for you? Do you, do you remember my initial, uh, initial uh, sentence? How do you, how can which you? Which I say I have to apply my wisdom before I, if I accept you into my house. So, how do you know? Oh, go on, only, do if you know, I didn't wear this uh, ring, would you have known that I wasn't married? Your wedding ring does not matter to me. If I didn't, so how do you assess? What you matters to me is whom you are. So whom, whom I, who I am uh -huh. is not necessarily dependent on my marital status. No. The ring these days, ring these days is just a fashion. So, no, no, no. You said what matters to you is who I am. Mm -hmm. And that should be enough when I'm coming to your house. For example, uh -huh. I work in media. I work on TV. I'm an influencer. I'm a lawyer. I'm a responsible woman. If you're a lawyer, even if you are a magistrate, if you are not good in character, eh, you are not complete. So how do you determine character, good character, when you're just meeting that a is, woman? That is why I told you, I have to apply my wisdom. So far, I think I'm living in my second or third. Okay, the first one was an official apartment, but the ap apartment I'm paying rent mm -hmm. is in my second apartment. And I, I've never had problems with my landlord. It's good. And it has never been, in fact... We have good relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, everything, I, I wake up, I go to work, I'm back. There's no drama, there's no yes. trouble. And I know a number of women who like that don't have problem with their landlords. We are not equal. I want to give you a picture okay. of what that does to women. Do you know what it does? Mm. What it does is that you will make women start telling lies. They will start, uh, because I know people who have to lie with their colleagues that they are married. Um, it causes undue hardship. It makes people feel less of themselves. It further strengthens the narrative that when a woman is not married, she's not complete. And it puts unnecessary pressure. Do you know that I cried when I was house hunting? Okay. I cried because I was frustrated. Mm. In one of the houses, they told me that if I'm going to live here, that they, I have to get back home by 10 p.m. every day. Like Shomode. Am yeah. I a child? <laughs> but you say something. If you're a lawyer, if you're a doctor, if you are wealthy, you don't need to rent an apartment. Go and buy an apartment and stay. Was it that easy for you to buy an apartment? I told you, if you listen to my conversation, I say I struggle enough before I can be able to hey, so get I'm that, that my, small house. But I'm still in that my struggling phase. Do you mm -hmm. get trying to put things together mm -hmm. to be able to earn enough money to maybe buy myself an apartment? I think uh, you are taking it too long now. 
Mm -hmm. Let me just quickly end it. Okay. The type of my house, maybe it's not the type of one you'll be looking for. Mm -hmm. I so, guess. Are you, are you hearing me now? I hear you. So, I, I can't give house to people like you in my house. People I'm like telling you. Me. Yes, if you don't have house, man, don't come. That is my own principle. Okay. Hmm? I wish but if you are married, oh, you are welcome. What I would say is that, unfortunately, this represents the mindset of a lot of landlords outside. Not every landlord thinks this way. There are a lot of landlords who think this way. And for any landlord who's watching, what that does is it creates opportunities for women to become liars. We're not liars, right? Creates opportunities, makes women into liars. You have to start lying that your fiancé is abroad or getting someone. It's, it's demeaning. It's, it's disrespectful to us as humans, first of all. There are other yardsticks you can use to measure. If I, if I can prove that I have a, you know, I'm able to pay your rent and I have good character, I think that should be enough. And I wish there was something I could do to change your mind. I don't think that there's anything I can do to change your mind. I'm hoping that in the nearest future you feel differently about this. But uh. unmarried women are humans too. And their marital status should not be the yardstick that would determine if they will get to leave or not. I think that they should be respected for who they are, and who they are is not dependent on their marital status. Bear in mind, I am not in any way, shape, or form speaking against marriage, no. Marriage is great, it's an honorable institution. Thank you. But when it hasn't happened, or when women don't want it, because some women don't want it, mm -hmm. I don't think that that should be a yardstick for determining whether or not to give them your house. Well, it was lovely to meet you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Pleased to meet you.